Okay, so we are starting with exponent properties. With the exponent properties, what we're going to look at first is what does an exponent mean? In the first one, a to the fifth, that means a times a times a times a times a. That is what a to the fifth is. Okay, a squared means a times a. So when you have something like a to the fifth times a squared, basically you have your five a's times two more gives you how many? Yeah, seven. So a to the seventh. So how do you get seven from five and two? We add them. So your rule over here, a to the x times a to the y equals a to the x plus y. You add those exponents. Okay, now the things to remember, it has to be the same base. See how those are both a's? If it was say 2 to the x times 3 to the y, you could not combine them. Okay, so they have to be the same. So with our examples, in the first one, x cubed times x times x to the fifth. Well, you have 3 times 1 times 5. So now how many do we have? 3 plus 1 plus 5 gives you x to the ninth. Okay, with a 1 on the bottom. Like I said, you can only combine like x to the fourth and x squared. So with four x's and two more, that gives us x to the sixth. Okay, and then y times y to the fifth is y to the sixth. So it's because it's 1 plus 5 gives you 6. Okay, next example. We have some coefficients in there. You don't add the coefficients. You multiply them just like normal. You have 2 times 4 is 8. Now, when you have x times x cubed, that's 1 plus 3 gives you x to the 4th. And really, if you have to write it out, you have 1x, and then you're multiplying it by 3 more. So when you multiply those, you now have x to the 4th. Write them out each time. It's perfectly fine. Okay. The next one, you have a coefficient of 3, and it's 3 times, basically, this is a coefficient of 1, and this is a coefficient times 1, of 1. So 3 times 1 times 1 is still 3. And then you have a times a to the 5th, and then times a squared, say so times a, so now that's 5, 6, 7, 8, so a to the 8th. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so go ahead and pause and skip down to the, go to the u tries, and then we'll pick up again at slide three. Okay, the next one on side three is something called the power to a power property. So when you have that power to a power, you have x squared to the third power. Well think about that, that is x squared now to the third power. And when you have x squared times x squared times x squared, that's basically x times x times x times x times x times x, giving you how many? Six. And how could you get six from x squared to the third? 2 times 3. Okay, so when you have x to the a to the b, it's x to the a times b. You multiply them. So power to a power, you multiply. In the examples, x to the 6 all to the 4th, 6 times 4 gives you x to the 24th. Okay, with the next one, x cubed to the 4th power. Here you're going to multiply. 3 times 4 is x to the 12th. And then the next one, x squared all to the fifth, that's power to a power, two times five is x to the tenth. And now, because you're multiplying straight across, this is like the last one, the, the rule where we add them. x to the twelfth times x to the tenth, you do twelve plus ten gives you x to the twenty-second. Okay, so that is that one. Go down to the next page and try the u tries. And then we'll pick up again with slide five to do one more power, or one more property.
Okay, the power of a product property. Now this one, you have a product, a times b, and then to a power. So looking at this one where it's a, b, I'm going to look at this one first, a times b all to the third power. That means you have a, b times a, b times a, b. And so really, a times a times a is a to the third. b times b times b is b to the third. And you cannot combine those. Okay, so it's just a to the third, b to the third. So when you have something like this, a product up to a power, that power goes to each one. Okay, so your rule, back up at the top, that power has to go to the each one. So it's going to be a to the n and b to the n. Okay, now, an example of that. 3x to the 4th squared. Now, that really means you have 3x to the 4th times 3x to the 4th. 3 times 3 is 9. x to the 4th times x to the 4th. Because you're multiplying, you add those straight across. 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay? Now, another way to look at that is this power goes to each one. You have 3 squared, and then you have x to the 4th squared. Okay? 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. x to the 4th squared, 4 times 2, because it's power to a power, would be x to the 8th. Okay? So it doesn't matter how you look at that. Okay? The next example, this cube, 4a squared b, all to the third power. That third power goes to the 4, goes to the a squared, and goes to the b. So you have 4 to the third, you have a squared to the third, and you have b to the third. 4 to the third, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. a squared to the third, okay, that's power to a power. 2 times 3 is a to the sixth, and then b to the third. So that would be your answer. Okay. So there are your examples. Go ahead and try the next few tries and we are done with topic one.